वन एटी फाइव पर्सेंट ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड और फोर हंड्रेड पर्सेंट ऑफ वन एटी फाइव वन हंड्रेड सेम वन एटी फाइव फोर टाइम्स डबल डबल वन एटी फाइव डबल थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी डबल सेवन हंड्रेड फोर्टी एंड देन थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ दिस नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट प्लस टेन परसेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट हाफ एंड हाफ सिक्सटी टेन परसेंट टोटल सम ऑफ बोथ द नंबर्स A twenty four is what percent of sixteen forty eight? It is exactly half, right? Half meaning fifty percent. Next, right? So, can we go and verify last digit? Why no? Two options ending with three. Two options ending with four. So, can we verify last two digits? Yes. Now. This fellow comes to left hand side and becomes minus, right? Plus seventy three minus seventy three gets cancelled. Yes or no? Now first number seventy seven minus thirty seven forty forty minus sixteen answer ends with twenty four. Done. Next minus thirty seven comes to left hand side becomes plus, correct? So let me write it one sixty four into Four seven two five divided by two twenty five plus thirty seven, which is equal to x square. Correct? Can we verify last digit? Yes or no? Why? Five multiple, right? So this is fifteen square, right? Fifteen square. Let's go with cancellation. Fifteen fifteen times. Fifteen three times. Twenty to left one and then five fifteen again twenty one times correct. Now can we verify last digit? Yes one sixty four into twenty one ends with four plus seven ends with. If x square ends with one, x must end with either one or nine. So answer must end with one or nine. Fifty nine next. Okay, cancellation with seven. You know, five into two gives you already zero, so you don't have to worry about it. Seven, two times eighteen, two times seven, which is two two seven, which is fifty percent, right? Then hundred percent in this sense exactly double. Answer ends with forty. Matvendu ka ka. Last two digits are both together. Seventy double one forty ends with forty. Enough. Yes. Next, divided by x goes to right hand side. Right hand side number comes left hand side. Correct. Five, three, seven, six divided by twelve, and from right hand side we will get fifty-six. Last digit. Numerator ends with. Denominator two into six ends with. Two into which number ends with six? Either three. How many? Fourth final done. Will you do it in the exam? मी बंद पाड़े एन सारे चपे सचना यू शुड हॉल क्वांटिटी आप्टिट्यूड क्वेश्चन रईट कनपड़ी अभी अट्ला वेलो रिजल्ट मैं नंबर कनपड़ू गुर्तपेक अर्थम अंदर ना नाक मच्छल विल यू डू इट रिमी दुंपल देगा Normal number series. Can we do it or not? Yes, you have to do it. Will you do it? No. This is forty-six to fifty, and then fifty-six to sixty-five. Unai ya? Right. Sixty work unai. Auna. Right. Now Q and Q two. Will you give priority for this? Amma. But there is an advantage here. If you look at this, Q two, we have a number. 62 we have to solve question 63 we have a number 65 4 we have a number 65 also we have a number avuna so we can definitely do it at least this fellow 65 is easy to calculate so from i'll mark it as 61 to 64 we are holding is that okay right now last three digits past two numbers 104 plus 264 368 then 
43 is added to this number then it becomes 468 from that we need to subtract 3 lakh 84400 correct yes or no now if you observe last four digits do you get positive number or not yes 46 minus 38 that gives you 46 minus 38 that gives you 8 so even in q2 also the same number is there agreed or not now 8348 minus 4400 will you get 3000 something or 4000 something that is enough to answer the question q1 is less than q2 done next will you do it yes we have to come on class a there are four classes a b c d in which boys and girls study data provided class a now we are going to have a b c d and then boys and girls number of boys studying boy students is 220 number of girl students is 60% of girl students in class b class b information is not there so we cannot write it let's write only 220 The ratio of number of boys and girls is five is to three. Hold it. There is no number. Number of boy students are two thirty more than boy students in class A. Class A boys are two twenty. Two thirty more than that. Four fifty boys are here. Next, girl students in class C is no total boy students and girl students is eight hundred. Out of eight hundred, four fifty is there remaining. Three fifty comes here. Continue. Number of boy students. Is 180 more than boy students in class A. Class A boys are 180 more. Next, average number of girl students in class A and that D is 240. Class A girls, class D girls. Average is 240. Then sum is. Just remember 480. We'll continue that later. Number of boys students in class B is 100 more than. Boys in class D. How many boys are there in class D? Amma, four hundred. Hundred more. Now, when you look at class B, they said boys to girls ratio five is to three. Five parts five hundred. This is three hundred. Now, in class A, girls are compared with respect to girls in class B. What percent they said? Sixty percent of three hundred. One. 80 now you just remembered one number 480 that is sum of girls in a and d out of 480 180 is there remaining every number is there find the average number of girls in a b d a b d 300 300 plus 180 780 by 3 260 number of girls students in class d is what percent less than boys in class b Girls in D, what percent less than boys in B? Three hundred is how much less than five hundred? Two hundred less upon, which is two fifth. Two fifth meaning forty percent. Find the difference between boy students in C D together. Boys in C D together, eight fifty. Girl students in A C together. Girls in A and C together, five thirty. Eight fifty minus five thirty. 320 last two digits. Come on. Ah, last two digits of 420 got only. You have to calculate. Find the ratio between boy students in class B D together to girl students in the same classes. Boys in B and D together and girls cancellation with 300 three times two times. If 20 percent boy students in class T, class C 20 percent boys 90. 30% girl students in class A. 30% of this number. 18 three times. 54 are failed in a test. Find the total number of past students in the same classes. See if 90 are failed from from 450. How many gets pass? 360. And from 180, if 54 gets failed, then how many gets pass? 126. Now we were asked to calculate sum of both the numbers. 486. Fifth option. Right. 
the table shows the total income of the given people and the pie chart shows the percentage distribution of total savings of the given people income and the savings both are there difference between both is right so now let me write income here then savings here and difference will give you expenditure so everywhere three zeros are common right now what is total savings if it is 2 lakh what is 1% value 2000 you know that one percentage is equal to 2000 and all the values are represented in percentage only so again you will get three zeros over there incomes we have three zeros common savings also we have three zeros common yes or no so i don't want to consider three zeros here in income or in savings so i'll directly write 90 70 35 65 90 now what is 1% of savings you need to consider 2 out of 2000 we excluded three zeros right it is only 2 13 twos next 27 twos 11 twos 23 twos 26 twos difference will give you expenditure how much is that Aka, 64, 16, 13, 19, 38. All are in thousands. Who among the following spend least amount of his income? What do you need to consider? Expenditure only? Who spent least amount? See, 13,000. Find the average expenditure given by them. Average expenditure. Sum of all the values? 64 plus 16 80 remember 80 30 10 10 50 50 3 plus 9 11 12 12 plus 8 20 50 20 70 already 80 total average in the sense divided by 5 how much is that 30 thousands the expenditure of A is approximately what person more or less than expenditure of E. E's expenditure 38. A's expenditure 64. 64 is how much more than 38? 26 more. 26 more from where? 38. Percentage into 100 only. Now when you look at your options, options are nearby 50 and then 60. So directly calculate 50% of the denominator which is 9. To that we need to add 7 more to get the numerator. 7 more in the sense that will be approximately 20%. Less than 20% but approximately 20%. Yes or no? 10% of the denominator 3.8. 20%? 7.6. We need to add less than that. That means 7 is less than 20%. And she should be close to 70 but less than 70. How many are there? The total expenditure by them is how much more or less than total savings of them, right? So now total expenditure, how much is that? Just now we calculated 150 total savings. You already know 2000, uh, 2 lakhs, right? Out of 2 lakhs, if you remove three zeros, how much you get? Amma? 2. Now the question is total expenditure by them is how much more or less than total savings? Now 150, is it more than 200 or less than 200? How much less? 50, 50,000, 50,000. If F saves 30% of savings of D. Now there is a new guy who is F. Whose savings are 30% of D. D saves 46. 30% of that, 10% into 3. 4.63 times 4 threes 12 0.63 times 1.8 total 13.8000 and spends 25000 as expenditure how do you read it 25 because thousands right then find the income of f income of f sum of both 38.8 38.8 is approximately what percent of income of D? How much is D's income? So with respect to 65, we need to identify 
38.8 is what percentage correct right now if you observe your option 60 70 65 55 something like that we have correct right now what is 50 percent of the denominator 32.5 correct now to get your numerator we have to add 6.3 only what is 10 percent of the denominator so i can read it as approximately 10 percentage so anyway your question is also about approximate right so answer approximately 60 percentage now the bar graph shows the total number of toys with five kids and the line graph shows the number of toys which are categorized in three types via x y z okay now five kids are there a b c d e let me first write total number of toys then again how many categories we have x y and then z got it now if you look at the order from the bottom we were given a b c d yes or no 0 to 50 how many lines are there sub lines so each line is 10 only right how much is this 200 then tell me b value 230 next 180 next 160 next 250 okay now let's start with x value type x which shape is that diamond this is the one this is the one correct now let's see 30 percent let's write 60 30 percent 69 continue the line 40 percent 10 percent double double 10 percent 18 double 36 double 72 next 45 percent 50 percent minus 5 percent 80 minus 8 how much is that next 12 percent 12% 12 of 250, right? Or 250% of 12? 25% of 120? Half and half? How much? 30. Otherwise, 10% plus 2%. 10% is 25. 1%, 2.5. 2%, 5. 25 plus 5. Next is Y. What shape is that? Square. 40%. Calculated on 200. Continue the line. 20%. 46 next 25 percent half and half 180 half 90 half 45 next again 25 percent which is 40 next 38 percent wait a minute 38 percent calculated on 2 or 250 percent of 38 25 percent of 380 half and half 380 half 190 half 90 okay next z for getting z value you can do one thing yes add x y and subtract it from total otherwise percentage calculation which is easy percentage easy in the when i see first one 60 80 140 remaining is 60 sum of other two numbers 115 remaining is 115 sum of C value is 117. 100, 100 cancel. 80 minus 17. 80 minus 17. Next, 112. 100, 100 cancel. 60 minus 12. 48. 250 minus 125. 125. See if you are comfortable with percentage, yes, you can calculate, no problem. Okay. Right. So once you have table, I hope you can also answer all the questions. Do you want me to answer? Sure. So can I start? 